Hey guys, it's your girl, Rala Abdul, and I'm going to be showing you how to paint your mug during a quarantine. Now stick around, grab a cocktail, and watch me go from this to this. Hey, okay, we're back. So as you can tell, I've changed into something much more comfortable because I'm gonna be wiping all my makeup on here if I need to. That way I don't get my actual clothes dirty. I've ruined many clothing that way, so why not wear this? And yes, I used to work for Kroger at some point. Um, okay, first things first, I gelled down the sides of my hair and I put on this. I'd rather put this on um, to get the hair out of the way um, instead of my hairnet because um, I sweat a lot. I put on a little bit of chapstick. This one is by Baby Lips and uh, it has sunscreen. So I'm using acetone to take off the excess oil from my brows. Um, normally you'd want to use alcohol but this is a pandemic, honey, and ain't no alcohol available. So, acetone is okay. Um, I saw another queen do it, so we should be fine, right? Glue stick. Gotta glue those brows down. You want to do like a swirly motion to cover your brow. I would honestly recommend using a smaller glue stick because this is a little messier. With a smaller glue stick, I, I would normally not even have to worry about um, excess glue and wiping things down. But this one, I was bougie and <clears throat> got a bigger one. Ah, mistake. So I used this little brush here to comb it and then follow through um, with the brush. So see, oh, let me see, I comb it and then flick it. I swipe it with the brush after I'm done combing. So you want to comb them up. I'm doing mine a little bit more northeast. Because <laughs> um, for me, my tame little eyebrows that I'm blessed with don't comb up directly that easily. Um, and at the end, I just, because there's few little hairs there, I just use a little brush. And this is the first step, is the only time that you will use the comb. Because after that, you're just, you're just using the glue. I'm gonna take my makeup wipe. This one's from Sephora. She's an influencer now. And we, you don't wanna throw this away on the first time, because you're gonna be doing this a lot. But you're gonna take your wipe and you're just, mm, Oh, it's Rose. My sister gave me these. Um, and you're just going to wipe down the excess. If you can see that. Don't hit your brows. Perfect. See, it's already dry. There's no more purple. That's why we use a purple kind. Now I'm going to do my other one. You can let these dry like that. We're gonna take the cheat route because this is the longest step of drag, honestly. So, blow dryer, cold setting. And you're essentially gonna repeat this numerous times until you see that your brow is completely flat. And you'll wanna go like to the side because the side you can see the hair sticking up. And when you don't see those sticking up anymore, that's when you know it's you're done. We're gonna do one more layer of glue and then we're gonna move on to setting this eye with Cody Power Airspun. This one is in translucent extra coverage. I highly recommend getting that one. So now I'm going to go ahead and make these brows disappear. You wanna do this and just tap it so you can get that powder into the lid. 
you want a good amount because you're going to be using this during your process. See, I use like this much. Oops. Well, you saw. And then we're going to do one small little glue application. Not as much as what we were doing a second ago. I would say this is a good time to go ahead and um, <clears throat> press it on. And press it on really good. Hard, but also gentle. You're gonna take your little fluffy brush and you are going to remove the excess. We're going to wipe down our beard area because we're going to cover it up with a little orange. Um, and what color is this? Orange, whatever. It's the only one that's like that. There's another one that's a little lighter. Um, you could go with that one too, but I'm a Hispanic man and you can see my beard easily. It is the hardest thing to conceal, so we're going to fix that. And go ahead and make all the weird faces because when you're lip syncing, you move. That means your makeup can shift and that means your little hairs can poke through and show. We need to set that because if you don't set it, then it's going to mix with your foundation and make it orangey. Okay. The brows should be good. So we're going to go ahead and dust those off. Oh, tips. This is for my drag daughter. All of this is actually for my drag daughter, not really for anyone else. Swipe the way that you've painted slash done anything. So if I glued my brows this way, I'm going to swipe that way because I don't want to bring it this way and then, you know, unravel things. Same thing when you do your makeup. Like if I applied it in its highlight, I'm going to go that way, not like this. You're going to go that way. You're going to swoop up. So now I'm going to try to replicate this eyeliner thing on the other side. So I need to make sure that with a little wipe that I clear off all of that excess like powder that I just got on there. And just in the areas where I'm going to be using. So basically everything under your brow bone. Let that dry. I used gel liner. This one's by LA Girl. See? And also just a cheap, just a cheap eyeliner. This one's by Wet n Wild Mega Liner. I suck at this. How do you? Whatever. <laughs> I'm not a professional. No, I don't trust myself. <laughs> oh gosh, doing your opposite side is so nerve-wracking. I would start out in the middle because you want this part here to be thinner. See if you can tell, it goes thinner as it goes inward. So start here. And then just meet the corner of your eye. Now. This is new for me. I'm gonna start, I started here. So 
So you're going to connect here. Time to line the waterline with this. Now we're going to fill in that little blank space. And then with our little cheap eyeliner, liquid eyeliner, because the other one was gel, so it's like pasty. We're just going to go over those little black areas. Okay, now it's time for foundation. We're going to go ahead and apply this all over, being extra careful because we just did these eyes right here and you're dabbing, okay? Very carefully, you do not want to smudge this around at all. And when you use the sponge, you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna blend it out by, by dabbing the entire time you use the sponge for anything. that beard is she a woman yet we're also going to cover up our eyebrow be the most gentle here lightly pressing on moving on to contour la girl pro conceal if you can see that make your little face Feel out your bone. We don't want this to be super harsh, so we are going to go in with the sponge and just blend that. So it's okay if you're a little messy because we're gonna fix it with highlight. See? Mm. Mm. Now we're gonna do our chin. Now if you can see, we don't wanna leave that like a chin strap, so we do want to blend that down. Now we're gonna do our forehead. Now we're gonna use our highlight color. There's a couple things that you gotta do. First, bridge of the nose, just make a straight line all the way down to right here. Okay, um, and you're just gonna lightly tap that with your finger, very lightly. You wanna be barely touching it because you still want that color to be noticeable. See? I actually forgot to contour this here. You want to you want the bottom of your nose to disappear. So, you need to color that in. Now you're going to go on the sides of the nose. Back to <laughs> highlight color, which we, other than the nose, we really haven't done much.
can see now you have like there's a big difference there between white and darker use this side here to blend that to blur that line out where they kind of meet seamlessly see next is eyes you'll want a flat liner pencil just like this I use a contour color. Start off with your bad eyebrow, basically. Um, if you're a lefty, you'll want to start out with your right. If you're a righty, you want to start out with your left. It's really hard to replicate a good eyebrow. Um, so start out with the uglier one first. So see, I'm actually going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. I like to tap when making out my eyebrows. Don't touch the ends at all, like they're pretty much fine. Unless if you're just touching up that same line. Wow, I am a makeup artist. I just hope that my other side will come out just as pretty. Now we're gonna clean up our eyebrows, the outside and the inside with the concealer brush. Um, you're gonna use the same concealer that you used to highlight. And then just blend that. Make sure you don't touch your eyebrows when you do that. Okay, we're going to do powder contour to set our cream contour. Um, so for that, you will need this. You'll need a contour brush. So for this, I literally just like swab all of these like that. Make sure you tap it so you don't have excess. Um, try to find something that'll help you keep that line there. Like a page. I have this right here. Because we want to keep that. And just keep it here. Be gentle. We just redefined that. How awesome am I? I'm such a good makeup artist. Bam. Now we want to do the same thing with the chin. Oh my gosh, woman. And now to your forehead. Make sure you get under your nose and also the bridge of your nose. Goodness, where's my mind? I would go for myself, for someone who's pale, use the lightest contour one. I use a mixture of both. Actually, a mixture of all three. And then just like help redefine that line on the nose. Oh my gosh. 
gosh. I did it. Now it's time for eyes. Um, you're gonna wanna go over with that on your eyelid. Just gently tap that all in there. Do not go out of that eyeball shape. See? Damn, I'm good. I'm gonna go ahead and paint my brow bone. You don't wanna do the whole under eyebrow, you just want this part here. Since we're working on eyes, let us go ahead and use our banana powder, which is, that's what it's called, banana powder, with any, any brand. And so that is what lightens up all of your lighter spots. Be very careful. You don't want to mess up the shape of that contour. You want to pack this, like, pretty good on the, down there, under your eye, because this is going to catch all of the fallout from the eyeshadow we're about to put on. If you don't do that, um, fallout will ruin your makeup. So we're going to take a brush like this and put some white eyeshadow on it. Be very gentle. That's what it should look like. Okay, now it's time for eyeshadow. So we're gonna go with the James Charles palette with this brush, one that's like this. It's like dome-esque. Okay, we are gonna go with the shade Punch Me, which is this one right here. Okay. And you're just gonna dab that you're gonna hit your eyeball basically, like right here. And you're just gonna go all around, tapping all the way. It's very neutral. This is what's called a transition shade. We're gonna use this brush and we're gonna use this darker brown right here. Um, that one is called T. Do that. Both sides. Tap. And same thing. Do You're just going to go in that crease. And this one, we're not going back and forth immediately. We're just going to tap. Because all we're doing is just defining that line where it's even bigger. Now we're gonna go back with this brush and don't put anything on it, just whatever is left. You're gonna blend that harsh brown line. this little brush here. You're gonna use it for the bottom, but also for that line. We're gonna use a little bit of black. The black on the James Charles palette is really dark. Um, you don't wanna put very much on it. Like, barely touch it like that, honestly. And start out in the middle because you don't want it to blend with your eyeliner either. Back to the original brush, this one, dip into T, just to 
very little, same thing. Blend just the outer line. Now, let's get our white. Kind of buff that out. Um, honestly, the look could be done. No, it can't. So now we're cutting our crease. That means we're gonna go back on the lid with foundation, but you're gonna stop at the lines. So you want a line to stay there. Um, you have to be very precise and do not blink. Back with our little, our little um, concealer brush. This little angled one. And we are going to get a concealer, the white concealer. And put some, you don't want to put a lot. And you only, you want to stop at the middle. And now we're going to just add color back in. So we're going to go with this little brush. We're going to start that with the lightest that we used, which was punch me. This one. And you're just going to place that at the middle. Okay, now we're going to go right next to it with the brown. And that one was called T. So go back to T, sorry, to punch me and diffuse both of them. Blend them at the, at the edge where they meet. And then now you're going to go in with the black. And then redefine that crease. Use white for the inner, that part right here. I'm gonna go with this little glitter by e.l.f. We're gonna use a dry brow brush and redefine our brows. Because I'm a tanned woman, I'm gonna go with this brown here. You want to keep the edges darker. Um, and then inside it gets lighter.
Bam. All we're doing here is just retracing our black eyeliner and then also our inner waterline with the white. You want to set that white with white powder. Bam, woman. We're going to go into our darker brown, okay? The one that was called T. And then you're just going to go under. Just run it across. If it doesn't look like someone punched you, you're not doing it right. This kind of brush. Now you're going with Punch Me, the lighter one. And then just diffuse that. Using a Milani blush. Do that face so you can find your apples. And then, just do that. And then diffuse it up here. And bring it into your contour. Why is it so easy and hard being a woman? Now we want to go ahead and wipe off all of our bake. Deepen that contour just a little. Well, I'm pretty happy with that. Finishing touches. Now what we're going to do is highlight our face and then do our lips and put on our lashes and then our wig. We're going to get our highlighter, which is broken into pieces, but it's such a good highlighter. Um, this one's by Morphe and it's like a gold one. Oh, is she listening? I suck at this. Oh yes, that's it. This is pretty basic, but we're just putting on our wig cap right now, and then we're using a long strip of duct tape to um, tape our <laughs> head down, and also kind of pull back our face. Those are face tapes, we did not talk about them. I didn't want to complicate things. Make sure you don't catch your hairline unless if you want to go bald. Reinforce those face tapes with another strip and there's the wig. Turn it around. Now we're going to glue her down. Um, we use uh, Mastix P Spirit Gum. And then you're going to um, press that on with a little cloth and then blow dry it until it's dry. And you'll know because you can tug it and it won't come off. Oh, and also don't forget to spray your finished look. Now you're ready. Hey guys, I'm sorry that I did not even think about recording an outro video, but um, here are some looks that I did that same night, my little runway walk. 
Um, this video is for my drag daughter. I hope that she enjoys it. It's super detailed. And massive shout out to my drag mother, Mary Lou Bottoms, for helping me be a good mother myself. Bye-bye.